you go, brother. So you're here. This is the Ape Father. Hey, guys, welcome back to my rants. Rants, plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. Uh, my man, Richard, I know I don't want to call you by your first name all the time. I just do it out of respect because, you know, I, but I, I love your grind. I love what you're doing. Um, just give us a little bit about yourself. Tell us what you do. Tell us where you're from. What do you got going on? Well, I uh, originally grew up in Brooklyn, New York, uh, but now I'm in the Jersey Shore. Uh, we have a beautiful house uh, here in a town in Barnegat. And, um, you know, right now, you know, me and my wife, we have our two children. We have our two dogs. My main focus right now is being a full-time investor, AMC. It's all AMC. And my whole portfolio as of currently right now is AMC. Wow. And uh, I had the privilege of working, you know, for, you know, many, many years in sales. So um, I saved up a lot of money. Uh, I put, I actually put my life savings in AMC. So I'm currently down because I, I, I wanted up getting in at a higher level to be. I, I wasn't thinking of AMC as a stock. I was thinking of it as a movement. Okay. And what really drew me to, to AMC, believe it or not, I can't mention his name for, for reasons because everybody. Uncle Festival, you know the guy. I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncle. I don't care. I'll say his name. I right, say right. it all the time. No, I mean, I just told everybody I won't say his name anymore. But anyway. Yeah, but, okay, so, okay. I got it. He is the one. I used to watch him a lot. Okay. And, you know, he's like, if you have family with cancer, my wife, God bless her, she's dealing with, you know, a breast cancer, God bless her. And, you know, I just, it, it really, everything touched me. How, we, how the retail investor is fighting against the hedge funds. And, you know, at the time, you know, there was a lot of things happening. GameStop, I know you're involved with. They had that little mini squeeze in January. <laughs> mini? So that, yeah. Right, that already convinced me. I was like, when I saw that, you know what I mean? So I just, I jumped in. I jumped in in June around 53. And wow. uh, since, then, since then, I've been holding and I'm down. I'm down about 150K right now. But I have very strong conviction in AMC. Okay. I just think that it's something, you'd listen, what I really believe is that after GameStop, a lot of stuff changed. You know what I mean? A lot, I think the SEC got completely frightened too because, you know, there was billions and billions of dollars that was going back and forth that was exchanged. And I just think that, you know, they're they're not doing their job in my opinion. They're, Gary Gensler's doing a terrible job. And, you know, I know everyone is depending on the Department of Justice. We'll see what happens with that. But I just think there's a lot of shady shit going on right now at AFC. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I, I respect that. So I have a couple of questions for you. And sure. um, full disclosure, okay? I just want to let you know, I bought AMC at 8 bucks, And I bought it a while ago, obviously, when we got it for $8. A lot of us did. I, have a rolling, I don't have a lot of followers like you, right? Like everyone else out there. But my followers are investors. That's the difference. Like we are all investors. We're all about one thing. And it's not so much as to make money. Like it's not the way I see it. This is the way I view it. It's a lifestyle to hold it that long. Like you have to change your lifestyle if you're going to hold AMC past the breaking point, right? Um, right. Only because you're in so deep. I, I can I acknowledge something right now though. I respect you to say that you're invested in it because of someone. Like think about this for a second. You invested into AMC because you saw someone online that motivates you to go that way which is kind of crazy when I think about like myself too. I'm like, am I really influencing people to make investments at that level? Like, and, and yes, I am, but I'm, I'm fearless, right? And I know you're fearless too, obviously. Uh, but, but I want to say something, and I, and I wish you would have found me earlier. I will say that to you, uh, Richard, and I love you with all respect right now, just even for taking the call and us hanging out. I'm going to say this. How comfortable do you feel right now with your investment. I have nothing against the AMC investor by any stretch. I'm like you, where I hate the insiders for selling off on the back of ours. Can you explain that to me? See, it, I don't want to be like redundant. See, AMC. Well, this is, hey, can I say something real quick? You're not redundant, yeah, brother. Yeah. My whole crew uh, has watched minimal videos of yours. More guys are watching my stuff, right? A GameStop stuff. Because when I told them you're coming on, they're like, who's that? Some of us know you, like I know you, I know, I know what you're all about, but they don't. And so they're, you're getting new viewers, right? And I promise you, my guys are at work right now. I might only have 50 people in the chat, but you'll have a thousand views when we're done with the day because a thousand people are working. That's my viewers. They're actually trying to make that money, do that grind. So you're speaking to new people right now. So go ahead and do your, 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 your thing. This is the thing. There's a lot of stuff that's going on. I'll try to go step by step with it yeah. that, that I feel doesn't make any logical sense. So 
with uh, Adam uh, Aaron, you know, the uh, CEO. I just call him Adam the Amen. That's what I call him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on the earnings, as you know, he said that we own the retail investor, the AMC apes, 90% of AMC. Now, right off the bat, this doesn't make any sense. Because you know, just if you look at basic facts, you know the institutions own definitely over ten percent. So, so there, there, there's something right off the bat that doesn't make sense. Now, when I got involved in June, uh, they said uh, that we own eighty percent. Now, since then, I can tell you, millions and millions and millions of investors have came on. Listen, I, I get me- I get messages from, from worldwide. Telling me, hey, Father, I saw your channel. You influenced me, like the way that you know uh, Uncle Fester influenced me. He turned out to be a real, uh, a real piece of work. I call him, I call him Fat Boy with the fanny pack. That's what I call him. Right, right, right. right. I didn't know at the time what a bullshit honesty was, but, yeah. but but let's put that. We'll put that aside for now. So when I got into the play in June, the retail investor owned eighty percent, and at the time we were at fifty three dollars a share. So it just doesn't make any logical sense that now we've increased right ownership from 80% to 90%, right? And there's much more investors coming in. I know for a fact, I mean, there's gotta be, yeah, yeah. I, I, think, I think we went from 4 million to 7 million. That's my projections. So it, how are we at, and I think last I checked, we were on the 17th. So, it, so I'm gonna just tell you for the new investors, and I know you know about it with, with, with GameStop, you know, you know, we know about that naked shorting is supposed to be illegal. This has been an illegal practice forever, but it, it's happened. It's in, in my opinion, naked shorted it is one hundred percent happening. The use of synthetic shares, okay, are, are one like you know. You look at BlackRock, you look at Vanguard. There's a very strong possibility they buy very large blocks of AMC to be lending out shares because we were supposed to be at one hundred percent utilization. This, that's what I say. There's so much shady stuff going on. It is, in my opinion that a lot of illegal activities are going on with the hedge funds, that they're driving down AMC. You know, the, 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 you know Gary Gensler said it himself, 95% of all new buyers are going into the dark pools. Sure. Okay. And, and plus, that's another thing that I get on the apes with. I tell anybody who's a retail investor, do not ever, okay, do any type of trading on payment for order flow platforms such as Robinhood, Webull, TD Ameritrade, E-Trade. Now, supposedly E-Trade has something, look, I don't know, but maybe you could tell me about it. E-Trade Pro, that you could put your uh, your orders directly to the live market. I use Fidelity. I use Fidelity Active Trader Pro. Likewise, likewise. Right, and and, and it all to, goes right into the live market. There is no market maker. And every the, the first priority, I say this all the time, and people kind of get aggravated because I, I literally repeat it a thousand times, but I know for a fact that there are people still buying on Robinhood. And yeah. I think that they're doing it because it's convenient, it's easy to use, but you're making our enemies richer, such as Ken Griffin. You're making him richer. Every trade, if you buy and you sell, and you're on these payment for order flow platforms like Robinhood, you're not helping either GameStop or AMC. Hey, can I tell you're you something? I have, a, I have a moderator on my channel. He refuses to, to transfer because he wants Robinhood to pay him when this moass happens, he's like, I want my money from them. And I respect everyone's angle. Like, I don't care. Like, do we just no, no, but people, let me tell you this. People misunderstand me. I understand that a lot of people don't want to transfer for certain reasons. In his case, yeah. he wants to shove it up Robinhood's where I get it. Yeah. But in, in another case, people are scared because they feel they're going to miss the moass. The moass, if you don't know, mother of all short squeezes. And what's, what's happening is this. Don't, don't transfer. Listen to me. Don't transfer, but open a Fidelity yeah, account. Yeah, absolutely. Activate Pro for new buy orders only. Hey, so can I tell words, you something? Yeah. Can I tell you something, Richard? I don't mean to cut you off, man. All right. Um, you don't know me, right? You and I, this is our first conversation. We've text, whatever it may be, in short, but you've never met me, right? You don't know anything about me. And I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to mend this fence, okay? I've been against investing into AMC from day one. Now, Yes, I bought at $8 and I had a good profit like a lot of other people. The reason I don't invest is a fundamental dis, uh, disagreement with the leadership. Okay, I have a fundamental, I, I understand the markets. I understand the manipulation that you're going over very well. I know more about AMC than I do GameStop. And I know a lot about GameStop. I've done a series of videos because I hate Adam Aaron. Like it's, it's something inside of me. That, and I'm just like, man, I'm going to tear this guy apart right now. And Sean Goodman, the CFO. 
Right? These guys. I, I don't like them either. No, I, I get it. No, that's why I respect it. That's why you're on the call right now. I could reach out to a lot of AMC guys because there's a lot of them. And you'd be like, hey, guys, let's talk this out. But here's the thing, Richard. One, you picked up the phone. That's the first thing. So I respect you for that. Number two, right. number two, you're willing to admit that you bought in at the peak and you're waiting for this to take off. I commend you because right now you're at a loss. And I don't mean at a loss in money. I'm talking at a loss in momentum. If we right. are, if we are all buying it and we're not and we're diamond handing and we're not letting it go, it shouldn't be at the price you see. So that's the manipulation on it. You know, FTDs on this market, FTDs, I did a video last night. I don't know if you watched it, but 7.2 billion FTDs by the whole stock market in February. That's when AMC had FTDs and GME had FTDs beyond galore. And it was to the point where they just weren't going to deliver. What's our average FTDs for the last 10 years? Two to three million, two to three billion. I apologize. So half, half of what we're currently doing even now. So it's upon you. The manipulation is real. I get that part. But for me, I bought in at a great price. I keep buying in at a great entry price for the fundamentals of what GameStop is. The fundamentals are scary for me and you when I look at AMC. So I am fearful for you. I am. And I know that you love the investor and that you want to get the crowd on your side. This me, I want to inform the investor. And so I look at things like losing five point three billion dollars, almost six billion dollars in the last two years for AMC. Like, how do you guys how, what's your plan or what's your vision to climb out of that? Because I'm going to tell you one last thing on this. And I know you listen to the numbers well to have one point eight billion dollars cash is now one point five billion dollars cash. The cash keeps going away and there's no plan on getting it back. What do you say to that? I would say that the majority of people who invest in AMC don't invest in it because of its fundamentals. They invest in it because of its short squeeze potential. And you admitted yourself that the manipulation is very real. And you're basing it on things that you can actually verify and things that you can see. But there, what I'm trying to make you understand is there's a lot of things going on in AMC you cannot verify and you cannot see. Some people are predicting, okay, of course this cannot be verified. What I'm saying, understand, this is an alleged, okay, that there are up to trillions of fake synthetic shares. Some people say billions, some people say trillions, because it just, I know it sounds hysterical and it sounds funny, but it's re if you really think about it, let's let's just assume our CEO, Adam, you know, Aaron is telling the truth, okay? Let's just assume. I don't think he's telling the truth, but let's right. just say he's telling the truth. 90% of AMCH hold you know, basically own the float, right? So, like, so how are we, it just doesn't make any sense. It, it, there has to be a, a, some sort of a, because we're not selling. Apes are not selling. So there has to be some other, I were at these low levels, and I believe it's the use of synthetic shares, the promissory notes. You know, it doesn't cost the hedge funds any money to use them. It seems like they have an unlimited supply. It seems like uh, they don't have to report this. Right, okay? it's digital. It's digital. It's infinite. You can just make it up as you go. Right, with this new SEC rule, the transparency rule that they're supposed to be in the edge complete, I just think they're telling them the data that's verified. You know, they're just like, I, I believe that there's 117 million shares being shorted. I could be off a little, but last I checked, of AMC. So that's what's verifiable out of 513 million shares. Well, what's not verifiable is the synthetic shares. And so, so this is why I believe everyone, just to answer your question, is invested in AMC. Fundamentally, yes, I agree with you. I think most people would be very frightened and, 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 and definitely scared to be invested in AMC. I mean, he's trying, he, just to give the CEO credit, you know, Adam D.A., man, of all of them, you know, he, he's trying to diversify. He ended it to the popcorn business. That's a multi-billion dollar business. <laughs> You're going to make me laugh. You're going to make me right. laugh. This is the truth. You know, he's trying to, to reduce the debt. He's you want me to, like, everything. knock that down really quick? I mean, listen, I, I can't, I'm not a man if I don't knock you down right now no, with that statement. Richard, I love you. Listen, popcorn business, billion dollar popcorn business, right? Zero infrastructure on how to distribute it. That's one. Two, five lemonade stands in the malls are not going to get it there. And he listed he would have five by the end of this year and 15 by the end of next year. You're not going to make up $5 billion with five lemonade stands. I know no, what it is. It's spaghetti sales. Okay. You're a sales guy, right? I guess what I do for a living, marketing and sales at a high level for a corporation. I'm one of the best. Now, here's how this works. If you throw enough 
spaghetti on the wall, something's going to stick, right? So here's right. what he's throwing. He's throwing out ideas at everyone and seeing which one sticks, whether it be NFT marketplace, platform, giving away NFTs, and then it'll be what? GameStop a partnership. It'll be popcorn dreams. It'll be chicken nuggets or fake synthetic chicken nuggets. It'll be AMC commercials. It'll be anything he can tell you until he dilutes more. We know he's a nasty man. But my problem, here's my problem that I have with investing. If you had 100 grand right now, Rich, are you going to go and suicide right back into it? Or are you going to go and buy GameStop? That's what I'm asking you when you know the fundamentals. Listen, I, I want you to know that I think that GameStop is going to be just as, is going to have a tremendous run. And I have nothing against GameStop. GameStop. Right, right. Okay, you know, I believe you're not in debt. You have a much lower float than us. You know, so on a fundamental level, I definitely think GameStop is great. And, and I think you guys are due another big, gigantic squeeze. Okay, so I have nothing against GameStop. And I happen to know for a, a fact that a lot of AMC apes are also in GameStop. So the thing is with me, I'm just AMC only because, listen, I put all my money in AMC. You know, I live and breathe AMC. So if I had, you want to laugh, if I had another 100000 I would put it in AMC. And I'll hey, tell you yeah. the reasons You got to say it. You got to say why. it. I get it. You got to say it. And I, I respect it. I do. For some reason, the volume just went lower. I don't know. Oh, Rich, I, now, can, you can hear me now, right? There you go. Very, very yeah. slightly. Well, here's what I'm saying. You got to say it, and, and, I, and I respect it. I do. So... I appreciate your time. I'm sure everyone heard your story right now and why you're in it and what you're doing. I know a lot of my guys just went over and subscribed to your channel because they were typing it up in the chat. Um, I don't want to keep you all day, but I do want to tell you this, and this is out of respect to you. I respect your hustle. I respect what you're doing. Okay. And you can watch this back on the live right now. I've never said a good thing about AMC, the company, but I will say great things about AMC, the investors, when I meet a solid dude like yourself. So much respect. I wish you well, Richard. And I'm going to tell you right now, Ape Father, whenever you want to become the GME Godfather, I'll roll right there with you. Come on over. It's okay. When you get your money up or if you break even, come on over and I'll take you right in. I will. I appreciate the time, brother. Let me say one last thing before I leave. Yes, sir. I always promoted that we should help each other. Sure. You know what I mean? Instead, instead of us being kind of like separated, you know, the GameStop investors and the AMC investors, we should kind of, we should, we should more or less be a, a team, a partnership. And, I, you know, like, you know, you know, the Italians, one hand washes the other. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what? I, I like you know that. You what they say? It, it's like, you know, that song? It takes two to make a thing go right. It <laughs> yeah. takes two to make it out of I think the two of us working together would be a lot better than just us fighting, you know, this battle alone. Hey, anyway, I appreciate that, Abe Father. And I'll tell you what, you're invited anytime. Call me, text me, stay in touch. Uh, I will be reaching out to you when this MOAS is happening. Um, I appreciate your time and uh, do your best, man. I know you're entertainment only, as you call it, but I tell you what, yes. it's a, it, there's a lot of good lessons to learn here in life. Grind it out, do it right, and I wish you well, brother. I really do. I'm not against AMC Investor by any stretch, and that's what I wanted to prove today. I am well, against Can I ask you one last that. question before yes, I sir? go? It seems to me you make your decision solely fundamental. Do you believe in a short squeeze? Uh, you know what? I do believe in a short squeeze, but it's, it's what I call added value. You ever been to Macy's and you want to buy yes. that perfume for your wife? And you say, you know what? I'm going to buy that perfume. But you know what? I'm not going to buy that one. I'm going to buy the one that comes with the free bag in the box over there because I get added value for it. So for me, I want to invest in the GameStop fundamentally because I think it's a great run company. And I love the leadership and I love the direction and all the X, Y, and Z that you and I just named. But that sugar, that extra on top, that's the Moas. And I'll take it because okay, I can fall but, back but, on it. But now you know, you know the way... I know you want to get rid of me, but I'm no. I don't want to get rid of you. Thing. We can stay here all damn day. No, 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 no. I just want to like the way that you made a point. I want to make a point. Yes, sir. What happened in GameStop in January with with Melvin Capital? Do you feel that was a fundamental thing or that was a short squeeze? Um. Well, I feel it was on its way. I really feel it was on it was on its way. L listen, but fundamentally, fundamentally, yes. Fundamentally, squeezing up. Yeah. Fundamentally, at that time in January, GameStop was almost bankrupt. Correct. Uh. No. No. Well, well, from from what I from what I read, no, sir. Listen, they, let, let me let me put it to you this way. Yes, sir. Come on, you have to admit there was no justification for GameStop to go up to over five hundred a share. Come on, no, 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 no. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. But but let's talk about that for a second. Fundamentally, GameStop was down to two dollars a share, two dollars and forty seven cents, two dollars and eighty seven cents in right. April of 2020. That's when DFV's making videos saying, "How can you buy all of GameStop for 200, 300 million dollars?" Market cap wise, how could you? They have 4,800 stores, 4,200 stores. 
They have 3,800 stores. They have over $3.5 billion in assets. They make seven and a half billion a year in sales. So there's value there and they have cash on hand now that they've raised, but more so the fundamentals of that company have never been in question. What's been in question is why it was listed so low because it fundamentally is worth more. The intrinsic value has never been in judgment, ever in question, and it shouldn't be. So that's where well, I let invest me, in let companies. me say this. What you just said makes perfect sense, and yes, I want sir. you to know I agree with it 100%. But then GameStop, really, what are we talking about fundamentally? Maybe it's a $20 stock, a $30 stock. For it to go to the levels it went you. to, it, it, let me tell you the real reason. Yes, it's sir. It's because we caught, we caught Melvin off guard. Sure. Okay, we caught the hedge funds off guard with heavy buying from the retail investor, and it triggered, in my opinion, that was a, a I wouldn't call it like the mother of all short squeezes. I would call it that they had a squeeze. Well, they okay, call it a sneeze. And, and, they call and, it and a sneeze, is, right? Well, listen to me. That wasn't based on fundamentals. Yep. Right. That was, hear me out for a second. That was not based on fundamentals. It was based on the facts that we knocked the shorts, we knocked them out Mike Tyson style, LL Cool J style. And what I'm trying to say to you is, is that's, so you cannot to separate. You have to differentiate between fundamentals and, and basically the shorts covering. And why GameStop went so high was not fundamentals. I don't I'm just disagreeing with you. No, it, I got it. It was it was because shorts were covered. And exactly the same thing on a much, much higher level could happen with AMC. And and so if we're talking fundamentals, GameStop, I see it at twenty dollars. AMC, you want to hear something? I see fundamentally, I see it at probably seven dollars. Okay. I see it at seven dollars. But if we're not talking fundamentals, if we're talking about short squeeze potentials, if we're talking about knocking out the hedge funds and forcing them to cover, having a forced margin call, I see I see AMC going into the high thousands. I see I see GameStop. You want to hear GameStop? I see that going into the high thousands. I wouldn't be surprised. You want to know something? I wouldn't be surprised if you saw GameStop at, at fifty thousand shit. And you now, now you're going to tell me that's fundamentals? Are you going to tell me that's fundamentals? Can I tell you? Yeah. Yes, sir. So let's talk about it for a second, because you you're getting you're getting on my good side right now about numbers and math, because I'm really good at this stuff. So here we go. First, GameStop. Fundamentally, what's it worth? Well, you could literally do if you're only doing one times earnings and or sales, I should say, and or the assets and what the profit is in the float should be trading around anywhere from 70 to 140 right now. Fundamentally. OK, that is dead on. That's the numbers. AMC, two and a half billion dollars on a 500 million float. You got to do that math for me, but I'm going at five dollars. OK, that's this year. Could it increase for the following year coming up? Absolutely. 2022, it could come up. So you're probably on at seven dollars fundamentally. Now, here's the difference. What is your speculation? OK, speculation of popcorn and NFT giveaways doesn't net you a profit. Not this year, not next year. Certainly not when you owe five, five billion dollars. So the fact that you have a debt that you're carrying over, I mean, we just cannot not pay our bills, right? So deferred rent and any other, any other expenses that are on the books, they're real and they're upon you. So fundamentally, it can't go much further than what you just said. That's AMC. You answered, you answered 50% of the question. No, I'm not done yet. Rich, I'm not okay. done. I got you. I got you. I got you clearly, okay? Now, GameStop, building a whole different platform. If you watch some of the videos I've done, 25 reasons to buy GameStop, the NFT marketplace is the extra. It's the, different, it's the difference maker. So we have an evaluation from one ratings company that puts us at around 70 to $80 billion. That's about $1,200 a share okay, on GameStop. Fundamentally, $1,200 a share. That's on that rating for this year and next year. Now, moving forward, could it be a billion dollar company, a trillion dollar company? Absolutely in my mind, right? Only because I dream a little bit bigger than most. I have a video called Dream. You need to go watch it right now when we're done, Richard, because I respect you and I love you. Watch the video because it's what you're doing right now when it comes to AIMSTOP, uh, AMC. You're dreaming. You're dreaming a little bit bigger than most. And I hear you at the high thousands, but I ask you and I plead with you and I grind with you. Who the hell's holding on once, they, once you have a guy like Fester, the fat fanny pack guy, telling you after 73, it's on you. Who's going to hold past that when he's giving out the message and the direction to get the hell out of Dodge once it hits 73? I know you saw the video because I did. And I'm telling you. See, but the problem is you're going to get mad at me. I think no. you're going to wind up loving me and, and you're going to hate me. I don't hate you. I respect you already for See, picking up the phone. You're, 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 you're jumping around points. Okay, okay. I'm listening. You're saying you believe that there's corruption in the market. Sure. You, believe, you, know, you said the FTD's more than double. 
you, you, you said that you believe that there's a lot of stuff going on right now, you know, that's shady. I mean, you didn't use the word shady, but you, you made an implication with the FDDs. There is 100% sure. a lot of concern in what's going on. So with that said, it, it, it's like you have to try to understand what my point is. Yes, okay? sir. If these shorts are covered, when they're covered, okay, what will happen? And and this is the thing. No one knows how many synthetic shares have been yeah. used. You know what? I so, give you that. I give you that. Right. So so the thing is, you have to just, it's kind of like what it is. It's a puzzle. And you have to put the pieces of the puzzle together. You have to say to yourself, you have the CEO saying we own 90% of, of AMC. You have institution ownership well above 20%. So, so right there, there's proof of synthetics, right? Yes, sir. Then you have a, a case like this. We're all able to buy new shares. Like, if, like, shouldn't we not be able to buy shares? Like, oh, on Fidelity, it seems like I buy, I can buy an unlimited amount of shares. I, I have a feeling if Elon Musk, just as a joke, right, would try to buy a billion shares of AMC yeah. that they would fill the order. Yeah, I'm he could, right he now, could like, do if it, he yeah. The, if he would want to buy one billion shares, they would give it to him. So it's just, it keeps leading you back to the same point. There seems to be an unlimited amount of synthetic shares that they're allowing the retail investors to buy. And the only question is, at what point will either the SEC, right, or the Department of Justice realize that the illegal activities that's going on, or will we be lucky enough if everyone stops buying our payment for order flow platforms and starts buying, like, on Fidelity using that Trader Pro, that we can drive AMC up to a high enough level to trigger a short squeeze. And what I'm telling you is I believe that, and understand, I believe this about GameStop. Right, no, I hear you. I think the same thing about GameStop. I think that GameStop is a lot of angry investors of what happened on, you know, January 28th. With sure. Robinhood. Okay, and I think that GameStop is due a tremendous squeeze. I, I, I want you to know that I love GameStop. I have nothing bad to say. I, it's just that I'm in a position that I put my oh. life savings yep. into AMC. So I'm just, me personally, I'm all into AMC. Can I, I tell you something? Can I do something GameStop? for you? I'm going to do something for you. Okay. Full disclosure. One, I respect your what you just said to me, and I and you know, hey, fundamentally, you know where I'm at, and I got you, and I want things to happen for everyone. I'm just saying there's a crew out there that's against AMC, right? Even though they claim they are for AMC, they're really against it in a way that I feel like. How the hell are you telling me to let go at 73 if I'm trying to do generational wealth? I'm trying to change me personally. I won't be around in GameStop at past past twenty thousand. It's not that I don't believe in it. It's the for me. I have life changing money where I'm gone, where I literally and I'm OK with it. And my guys know no one's against me on this. But think about this. I want to ask you one last part about this because I respect you and I love you. You know that. And I will even after this phone call. OK, even after this phone call, I want you to watch every damn channel and I'll watch every one you get. You do. I'll watch all your videos. I'm subscribing to you right now just for picking up. Honest. Hey, father. Check this out. Thank you. Yes, sir. I'm subscribing to you as well. Thank you. But watch this. Here's the question or here's the declaration. I'm going to buy one share of AMC tomorrow for you, or actually today. I'm going to buy one. And if everyone okay. that watches my video buys one, that's going to be a thousand shares. And that's okay. just, hey, and I get 10,000 on some videos, and hopefully this one gets a little bit more. But we'll go from there. Can we start somewhere? I'm willing to start right now with you. I need, I need to help you get back to that 53. And I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to buy a share for you because you know what? I respect it. Hey, I don't like AMC. I don't like the leadership. That's what I mean when I say I don't like AMC. I don't go to the movies, whatever it may be. But there's some good ass people out there on this you planet. Go, you should go this Friday, Matt. Why the hell would I pay extra? They raised the price. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that to me. No. Hey, and, and, and I'll tell you what. Um, I'm live almost every single day. Okay, Richard, I really am. I do a live stream and then I do recap videos too. If you can't catch the live stream, but you can always watch it because it's always on there. I've been doing this for ten months, eleven months in this space right here. But I've been investing for a long time. You get the whole story when you watch the channel. But I will say this. I respect you as a man for coming out here and telling us that that's what you did and this is how you're doing it. And it's just unfortunate that you're caught in a pickle right now. But I promise I'm you. I'm not worried. You know, I know you're not worried. Do for real. I don't want to promote him. Because, yeah. listen, this is the last thing I'm going to say. Yeah. Bill for real and me used to be buddies. Oh, he I know who the, he is. Yeah. Right. He was the AMC ape who actually got me into the deal. I, I, I would have... Full, you want me to be transparent? I started off on Robin Hood. We all did. I didn't really understand what was going on. 
Well, when Bill Farrell explained it uh, to me, and I'm going to give him credit where credit is due, yeah. I switched from Robin Hood to Fidelity using Active Trader Pro. But since then, we had a little bumpy ride. Me and Phil, but that was on just. Oh, a I don't, I don't, level. I don't like, care about telephone tough guys. I don't, I don't. Those guys don't impress yeah, yeah, yeah. me. Yeah, like, yeah, He started it. getting a little like you know, like you know, DMX style. You, don't, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't but care. He's like, I got my original <laughs> your G's, but let's put that aside. He yeah. says something when he ends his channel. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm sorry. When he starts the beginning of his channel. He says, have the shorts been covered? No. Then what are we talking about? And honestly, it's that simple with, sure. with AMC. And I actually believe it's that simple with GameStop. The shorts have not been covered. You're basing everything on a fundamental. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we change that up? Can we change up that verbiage? Because even he's wrong, and I don't want to correct everybody. The shorts have not closed. They can be covered, but they have not closed. That's right. the difference, fundamentally. Hey, I love you, brother. I appreciate I your time. You, bro. Thank you for hey, having me. So bro. if you don't know my you sign on, hold on. Yes, sir. Now, listen, 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 because I know you have a sign on and a sign off, and so do I. So I'm going to give you mine, and then I'm going to let you do yours, okay? So here's mine. Uh, welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. And then I always sign it off this way. GameStop. Can't stop, won't stop. GameStop. I'll see you around, millionaires. Take care, brother. And I'm waiting for your yell, that yell you do. Oh, oh you want me to do what I do? Well, yes, I go, I, I go, I woo, AMC to Pluto, wow! And I also have my friend here who else you love. Oh, you're too much. Hey, take care, brother. Appreciate you. <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here. Take All care, right. brother. Likewise. See you, brother. All right, guys.